Well, on today's program, I'm pleased to welcome Tyler Hickman, the Senior Vice President, and Eric Redrohozal, the Director of Sustainability with IC Straight Point. Now, those watching this might wonder, what is IC Straight Point? That's a cool name. Can you guys tell us about that? Absolutely. Uh, th thanks, Jeff. Hey, thanks for having us today. That is a really big question, and we are a very big operation, and that maybe a lot of people haven't heard of. So, IC Straight Point is North America's only privately owned cruise ship destination. Uh, we are owned by the local native corporation called Huna Totem Corporation. So Huna Totem has over 1,400 Alaska native shareholders, uh, as well as over 23,000 acres of land in and around uh, the, the town of Huna. And part of that is what is called AC Strait Point, which is the cruise ship destination. So if people are taking cruise ships coming to Alaska, uh, we, are, we are the fourth largest cruise ship port in Alaska. So behind, you know, you've got Juneau, Ketchikan, um, Skagway, and then you've got AC Strait Point. So um, we have tons of land. It is a beautiful area. And... We're ha we, we just love sharing it with people that come up to Alaska on cruises. Well, from your virtual background there, I like it. That's a very impressive picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's pretty incredible when you get a, a cruise ship that's holding up, you know, upwards of 4,000 people arrives to a town that has just 760 people. And, you know, one thing that works really well about Icy Strait Point is that we're located about a mile and a half from the town. So uh, when the cruise ships come in, it's not, you know, overwhelming the town and kind of redefining what the town is. You know, Huna still gets to be Huna, yet Icy Strait Point handles the, the guests as they come in. Uh, you get a taste of, of what Alaska is really like, and rather than just uh, coming to a busy downtown area. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I imagine in a town that size, everyone knows everyone else. Ab absolutely and more so <laughs> yeah well tell us a little bit more about your company and you have a facility that people visit i know you're recently uh, our gbac star accredited facility well um yeah on any given day uh, a cruise ship will arrive or two or sometimes even three will arrive to to icy straight point and you know uh the cruise ship guests will come ashore and we are a full port facility where we have all of the offerings that you would get anywhere in any cruise destination around the world. So as, as guests come off the ship, not only can they you know walk around on our nature trails, they can walk down onto a beach and actually put your hands in Alaska water. Um, the forests are, are gorgeous, uh, but it's built around a historic salmon cannery. And so in and around the cannery, uh, we have all sorts of amenities. Guests can wander in. We've got a mini miniature museum inside the cannery. We have uh, all sorts of different retail shops so the guests can come pick up souvenirs of their, their time spent at Icy Strait Point. Uh, we have three different waterfront restaurants. Guests can just sit along the water and look at the beautiful scenery. Uh, oftentimes we even get whales passing by uh, during the day. So seeing a humpback whale while you're sitting there eating fresh halibut and chips or fresh king crab or Dungeness crab uh, fresh salmon, all of these things. It's a, uh, it's pretty spectacular. It's a, it's a different than what you might encounter at, at other, you know, cruise ship ports around the world. So, you know, we've got retail, we have, we have the restaurants, but we also have some of the most exciting tours that you can go on anywhere in Alaska. We have the world's largest zip line ride. Uh, this zip line has six cables wide. Uh, it has each cable is over a mile long. It has one of the highest vertical drops of any ride in the world. So this zip rider drops over 1,350 feet uh, at speeds of, of over 60 miles an hour while you're looking at just gorgeous scenery. So we, we have the world's largest zip rider. We have the best whale watching in the state. Uh, just uh, a short boat ride away, we go to a place called Point Adolphus, where scientists have been studying whales for decades. And uh, we're, we're the only cruise ship port that really has day access to this place. So uh, we have incredible whale watching. And then also on the island, we have the highest population of brown bears anywhere in the world. These are the coastal brown bears. 
also, you know, people call them grizzly bears, but they're bigger because they eat lots of salmon in the, in the coastal regions. And uh, so there's over 3,500 coastal brown bears on Chichagoff Island where we're located. And that's uh, 1.7 bears per square mile. So we have coastal brown bear uh, viewing tours. We have, uh, you know, all, all the other stuff you might expect uh, of, a, of a place like ours. You've got kayaking, we've got ATVs, we do Jeep tours that go out and explore the up to 200 miles of, of dirt roads that are all, all over the island. Um, as well as we have a native theater where we do our tribal dance and cultural legends show. We've got just all these incredible amenities, but we also uh, just opened Alaska's first gondola system that connects the crew to cruise ship docks. And then later on this year, we will be opening uh, our mountaintop gondola. So not only we have the first gondola system in Alaska, we'll have the first and the second gondola system of Alaska. And the mountaintop gondola is going to proceed from right next to where the ships are and go to the top of Huna Mountain at 1,600 foot of elevation. And it overlooks some incredible scenery of Icy Strait, Port Frederick. Uh, you can see Glacier Bay National Park from the top of the mountain, as well as Mount Fairweather that towers at over 15,000 feet. Uh, so the, the views are incredible. Well, I guess I need to come there. It sounds so, fantastic. You, you describe way too much to do in one short trip. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, you know, that's one of the great things. The guest comes in, they can, they can not only go out and just, you know, do, see one thing, it gives them an excuse to come back again. Yeah. Well, that's what you want people to come back. One thing you've done to deal with the pandemic, I know, and reopen and bring people back uh, has been GBACSTAR facility accreditation. What brought you to that? What, what was it that made that the solution for your company? It's important, of course, to have a good cleaning and disinfection program. Um, and we also thought it was important to look for, continuously look for areas of improvement. And right now with the pandemic, um, to also get a third party evaluation of our policies and procedures. So um, with COVID-19 in the picture, of course, infectious disease prevention um, is at a new level that most of us haven't had to manage before. So having the input of public health professionals um, is extremely valuable to us right now. And you had to do a lot of work uh, to get this done and your seasons are fairly short. I understand um, cruise ships don't come up there in December, so. Correct. <laughs> So how did the GBAC Star Accreditation help your facility to ensure your guests are going to be safe? Could you speak to that? Absolutely. Um, so of course, it's important to us that our, our guests and our staff feel comfortable on our site. And it's equally as important to us that the, the surrounding community and the cruise line operators also have confidence in how we operate. So um, as Tyler mentioned, we have so many moving parts on site and so many activities and retail and food and beverage. And um, we also have tours departing on vessels and on buses. So um, the, the 20 elements of GBAC were, were really helpful because of course, when, we, when it came time to plan our COVID-19 response, it was a bit overwhelming. So um, the 20 elements helped uh, walk us through step-by-step -step to meet our end goal. And um, one thing I did like about GBAC is one of the first elements were actually identify your goals. And that, that helped us uh, Keep, keep the course throughout the program. So um, the, the cruise line industry, of course, we all know have some of the highest standards. So we wanna ensure that the guests coming off the ships feel just as comfortable and safe at our port as they do on board. We did win Sea Trade Cruise Award Port of the Year. And some of the other competitors in the global market were St. Petersburg in Russia and Dover in England were the finalists. And uh, the, the fact that, that we won uh, speaks to, to everything we do from port development all the way through, you know, GBAC certification has been a big part of our, our messaging and our story. Uh, the restart of cruising it has been, you know, uh, GBAC has been out front and, you know, the, that I feel like we're bringing this to the industry uh, before the industry is even ready for it. Good points. Can you speak to how this is all gonna help you when the pandemic's over. These, these procedures you learned about, the implementation of GBAC star accreditation, what's that going to do later? 
Well, it's it's always important to have a solid public health program. And um, we're always going to strive to achieve the same high standards um, expected by the cruise line industry. Um, this was a great opportunity to reevaluate um, cleaning disinfection um, and how people interact um, at the port. And I think that's a new concept for a lot of people because um, there are other viruses, you know, there's noroviruses I, is one that the industry monitors closely. There's seasonal flu. And um, we're, we're all much more aware of how these viruses um, spread. So um, I think GBAC gave us a structure for a solid public health program that we can continuously update. So um, this isn't just a, a COVID response um, program that will one day be irrelevant, but it will adapt and adjust with the current conditions and whatever's going on in the world. And, um, you know, there always has been and always will be a risk of infectious disease. So um, this will continue. Mm -hmm. Now, I realize there aren't a lot of organizations like your own because you are a special company. Um, you have a handful of other companies up there that do what you do. Tell us this. <laughs> if someone were to ask you, should we do GBAC star accreditation? What would you tell them? I would say absolutely. Um, yeah, it's, it's important for any industry that their customers or their staff, their partners, that they feel comfortable with their operations and have confidence in their health and safety um, programs. So uh, also what I think is what's been unique this past year is I've, all these employers have been put into this position where they're trying to figure out how to you know, prevent infectious disease spread. And we aren't all public health professionals. We aren't all epidemiologists and doctors. And um, so the support of GBAC has been really important for our restart and I think could be valuable to the restart of other businesses as well. And um, one thing I wanna say about the GBAC team, um, they took a very realistic approach um, to the risk mitigation. They, um, they really helped us identify what is the, the best course of action for our unique situation. And, um, you know, there's different ways to get to an end goal. So the GBAC team was great to work with. Um, and even if you have a great solid, you know, cleaning and sanitation program, there's always room for improvement and there's always going to be changes in the world. So I would absolutely recommend GBAC. Yeah, always something more we can do, that's for sure. You know, you talk, Tyler, about the food you guys have, the salmon, the king crab and all that. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't imagine you would recommend eating that and then doing the zip line, or would you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, everybody has their own tolerance level, but uh, yeah, go go do the zip rider, come down to the bottom, get yourself a nice uh, Alaskan beer, uh, have some fresh halibut, have some king crab, have some Dungeness crab you know, it's, it, it's all here, you know, Fre we've got fresh oysters, smoked salmon, uh, and sit on the waterfront and enjoy the view while you're eating. Mm -hmm.